Hey, what's going on guys? I'm going to be talking about the Nightmare Zone and in the background I have some footage from the Nightmare Zone. A huge thanks to Bod Matt K. If I pause in the background you can actually see some stuff lying on the ground here. It looks like an anti-dragon shield, a pickaxe, uh, magic secateurs and a bunch of runes. So this minigame is actually going to provide you with special stuff to kill the the quest monsters to save you having to bring all that so obviously if you've I think it's the fairy tale part 2 you kill the boss at the end and you have to kill it with secateurs and uh, they're going to provide you with that and the same with the anti-dragon shield for uh, killing Elvarg I assume and at the top right of this video you'll see what looks to be just a score or something just keeping track of how well you're doing in it so thanks to Mod Matt K for allowing me to use this in my video first of all. He, if you guys don't already know, he has his own YouTube channel, I'll put a link to that if you guys want to check it out. But I'm going to be going through in what's been confirmed so far in the Nightmare Zone, there's been some new stuff been confirmed. And the minigame does look to be in its final stages, it looks like they, all they have to do is just finish up the rewards and then it'll be good to go and it'll be live in the game. And I believe this is the first piece of real old school content we've had, so that's kind of exclusive content that's not gone into the real game. So it's really exciting for us old school players. So the first thing is a bunch of new potions that are going to be exclusive to this uh, Nightmare Zone, so you won't be able to PK with them, you won't be able to play with them, these potions outside of this minigame. Basically they added in a super range and a super magic potion to kind of balance out the uh, the combat triangle because melee is kind of overpowered because they're allowed supers and you don't actually get them for range and magic back in this time so they've kind of just tried to even that out which I'm super happy about since I'm primarily a ranger so um, a super range potion will definitely go down well. And they're also going to be adding in the Overload. That's right, the Overload potion is coming into Old School RuneScape. I'd never thought I'd see this. So basically when you drink it for 5 minutes, it'll boost all of your 5 of your combat stats to a super potion equivalent. And uh, it's only, again, only going to be used inside of this Nightmare Zone. So these potions are actually going to be a reward that you can get, I assume with the points at the top right hand of the screen, but you, you can trade these in for your rewards and these potions are going to be some of them, and you can actually store a bunch of these potions outside of it with Dominic. And also outside is going to be a coffer, and this is going to be something where you can store money, and uh, there's never really been a money store in the game like this, I think the only real comparison is the inside player owned houses where you get the magic chest, you can put money into that, I think that's the only other thing that takes money actually out of your inventory, and the idea behind this is so that you don't have to waste an inventory slot, obviously you have to pay to go into this minigame, uh, so it just takes that out of an inventory slot, so you can store your money in here. So. I assume you can be able to store up to a max cash stack in here, and if anyone's lucky to have enough to have one. I guess it could be seen as a safe place to put it, because uh, you know if any hackers are going to come into your account, or you're going away for a month or something like that, you can just put your money in here. And I assume most people, if your account does get hijacked, then they wouldn't think to check it. And this coffer is also going to be protected by a bank pin and stuff, so you've got no worries there. And last of all is a spectator potion, and this is going to give you the ability to just watch other people that are in their own rumble dreams or endurance mode, and you can just watch them fight the quest monsters. So you just drink it outside of the zone, and uh, type in the name of the person, and you'll go straight into that area. So that's all the main information that's been revealed for the uh, Nightmare Zone so far. I'll keep you guys up to date, I'm super excited because it's kind of like the first old school content we've had, so it's really cool. So subscribe if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you guys in my next video.